Peace of the Lord. I promise that I'm going to be brief. Remain in the spirit of prayer. We're here to receive a bit of pleading. But before we pray for one another, we're going to I'm going to speak quickly about a text in the letter of John. First letter John. See in chapter 1, verse 7. It says, John 1 and 7. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with uh, one another, and, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, cleanses us from all th sin. Such, such. Verse 1 7. But they place the whole thing there. not gospel first letter first letter of John first letter John chapter verse 7 maybe the fault was mine not not to say first letter there it is but we follow this way this text speaks of two interesting things that are important for the church Firstly, John says the following. There is here a condition, right? The adverb, conditional adverb. is placed here, but in the text, uh, the original text is also like this. If. It's a conditional. If. Well, there is a condition that gives, um, puts you in a situation of obligation. God is faithful. He's faithful to His Word. The Holy Spirit does not go beyond His Word. The Bible itself says this. The Word is a project, it's a complete project. The Holy Spirit does not act according to what I think. What Every time that I go beyond the Word, God is not, is not responsible for it. It's just me. If I say something that is not in the Word, God does not honor me. God does not honor me. I can say a bunch of things, but God will not honor me. If I say something that is not a Word, it's not worth saying something that is not in the Bible. We're going to go back to the same heresies that of those that began in the church. The beginning of the church. If we walk, so there is a condition of walking. You walk, if you're walking on the path, First, we say that it's a continual action. It's not static. So walk is a continuous action. Walk on the path. If we are on the path, if we walk on the light, what is light? The word light in the New Testament, as you see here on the following seminar, is different than the word light in the Old Testament. In the Old Testament, the Hebrew, and the word is or which is the light that extinguishes, it begins and ends. It's connected to the creative work, the light in the Greek, phos. The same word that comes from fluorescent. It's a light that is not connected to creative work. It's a different light. It's con completely connected to the creative work. That's why there's an emphasis to this light. So it says, if we walk in the light, this light here is not the li light of the Old Testament. It's the light of New Testament, phos. So it redemptive work. So it's Jesus, Jesus saying, I am the light. If you walk in the light, it's to be in Jesus. What is to be in Jesus? Is to walk in revelation. Is to be dependent on Him. So let's go back to the condition. If we if if is a conditional. If we walk in the light, as He is in the light. It's a basic condition. What do we have? We have the great legacy of the, the resurrection. What was it? It's when he appears to the women, when he appears to the disciples. The great legacy of resurrection is fellowship. That's why the Church of Acts is characterized by the fellowship, because they have everything in common. They shared everything, right? So this was the 
point that was very important in the primitive church, which was fellowship. So they were interconnected. So when Paul speaks of body, he speaks of fellowship. What is fellowship? The word fellowship in the original text is koinonia. The word koinonia in the Greek having something in common. So the greatest example to have in common is body. Nothing is that you can have is most in common is body. No, no, no. Um, my, me and my wife are very well married and have a thing in common. Ah, it's just, uh, let, let's go to buy a car. Then, then she said, oh, I want to buy uh, one white. And he says, oh, black. I like black, but she wants white. And then you buy white. <laughs> hey, honey, why do you like this? How do you like this? And she said, I don't like it. Okay, doesn't matter. Uh, I'm, going, I'm the one who's going to use it. Doesn't matter. So they love, and that's wonderful. Everything's all right. But the greatest example of having something common is body. Because no part of your body is, is never not interdependent of the other parts of the body. So the body says the following. If you walk in the revelation, it's a condition. If you have a revelation or not. If we walk in the light, like in his in light, we have fellowship. So having fellowship, what it is to have fellowship is have interdependence. So, so Paul, when he says uh, on the supper, examines man himself. Sometimes, sometimes I have a few things that speaks against fellowship. For example, I came to a sister. And I asked her, sister, I have a friend, she was my friend. Then I asked her, do you like your pastor? And she turned to me and said, I want to, be, I want to go to heaven. <laughs> there is a psychiatrist, there is very famous, one, the one that computed with Freud. He was called Lacan. Jacques Lacan was a French psychiatrist, and he said the following. You identify what is in the person's mind through the way they speak. You allow people to speak. Their ideas. Every, uh, the, all his whole psychiatric, psychiatric uh, idea was to allow people to speak. At the last year of uh, college, I, I didn't know anything about psychiatry. Then, then I came to the teacher and asked, what do you mean? Are you going to do psychotherapy on a patient? What is psychotherapy? It's, and the, the teacher said, allow the, the student, do, allow the patient to speak. So when you allow the Christian to speak, and he opens up his mouth and says, look what this sister said to, said to me. I want to go to heaven. What did she say to me? I don't like the pastor. You don't have to say it. <laughs> Hey, Susan, how is the pastor? Do you like him? And she answers, I want to go to heaven. So meaning, I want to go to heaven means I don't like him, right? So when you go and you tell this sister, and she, how about that sister? No, no I like her, but her and uh, on her corner and me I'm on my corner. That's very clear, right? And that brother, oh, God have mercy, God have mercy. I've been praying for him, so you don't like him, all right? Okay. The body does not act this way. So you have something against your brother, go and speak to him. And so the fellowship cannot have this kind of things because it interferes in what? In the result. Because the, the text says the following. If you walk in the light in the same way that he is in the light, we have fellowship. And then in this condition, the blood of uh, the Jesus operates. In other way, otherwise it doesn't. So if you like cliche, I love cliches. The only person that doesn't like cliches is the te uh, English teacher. He says in, uh, on a test you cannot use cliches. So uh, condition sine qua non is a cliche. I don't know what it is. Condition sine qua non for the God to operate. So if you are in your revelation in the fellowship with your brother, with everyone. That, that's when the blood of Jesus operates. If you don't have, there is no way for Jesus to operate. You don't understand? 
So we're going to pray for everyone here. But if is it not going to work? But well, but right. God have mercy. Does it have to be that way? Yes. Oh, God have mercy. Sometimes you're uh, bitter with your husband. You keep praying for him to die. <laughs> and sometimes God answers your prayer, right? The uh, situation is complicated. Oh, God have mercy. This man is just... I, I wanted to serve you better, but God have mercy. It's complicated. Sometimes, sometimes God answers your prayer. There's a text. Uh, I took a lot of time. No, no, just a minute. 20 minutes. That's all right. Because it started at 8, and there it starts at 7.30. So if, it's condition, if we all walk in the light, do you walk in the light? Then God speaks to you, you answer the instructions of the Lord. If you don't walk in the light, if you don't walk in the light, I was there in the, in Vila Velha, I was pastor of the Lemmy in Rio, and the deacon called me. He said, there is a... Uh, usher here in Vila Velha, he said he walks with the pastor such and such and is here saying uh, if he wanted to deliver a message is he a deacon? No, no, he's a, just an usher who is he? He's such and such give his phone number okay, hey, uh, I'm here passing by, I, des I had desire to deliver a message so then he said, do, do you know that person sir, such and such? Very well so when you came with these three people on the car, they are there from Lemon you said so many curse words inside of the car that they called me and asked me if you had a foul mouth and if you have mouth, foul mouth then you, you cannot deliver a message in your church you have a foul mouth and Jesus is not going to operate in your life unless you wash your mouth but if you wash less from last week but if you didn't wash if you have a foul mouth does Jesus walk with this? no no fix this situation with you. If you walk in the light, not in the dark, it's in the light. How is your life outside? Outside. With lies. Lies something that are very simple. The other day I called, I went to the house of a sister. I was young, I was beginning uh, in my doctor clinic, and she was a great friend of the uh, president of Telesh. At that time, have getting a phone number, uh, having a phone line was very difficult. I opened up uh, my business, I didn't have a phone, and she said, oh, I'll resolve it right away. And she went and called such and such person. She was a great friend of that person. Before she was, uh, became a Christian, she was uh, godmother of his son. So now I need a phone for my son. And for my son, yeah, for my son. Yes, he's beginning his life right now. He needs a phone. Right. The address is this, is such and such. Okay, okay, okay. thank you. I send you my recommendations. Okay. So who is your son? It's a little lie, it's not a sin. It's a white lies. These lies that do good, they are not sin. Isn't it true? So the phone rings, the child answers and then I ask who is who is this who is this oh such a person tell that I'm not here mama said it she's not and <laughs> she's not here so it seems simple right if we walk in the light like he is in the light we have fellowship with one another in the blood of Jesus his son purified us of every sin so then you uh, ask of the Lord, Lord, your word says this, and you, you to operate, and God will operate, but there's a condition. I don't like it. Amen. But since nobody has this problem here, I'm going to pray for everybody. It's going to be a blessing. I just said, just, just to say it. The sisters love one another, it's that thing. The teachers, they love one another amongst themselves. Nobody has a problem with teachers. Oh, it's not a problem. Praise group love one another. They, they are in love with one another. One love the other. Even if the, uh, the voice uh, out of key, 
And uh, the instrument plays it, they love one another. Everybody loved the, the pastor. Well, yeah. Say that you don't like the pastor, you see what happens. To the vision, there is a man is going through m difficulties in his uh, health. He's not being in every service like the way he would like to. And the word is to protect your crown so nobody will take it from you. So if you can be to this on the surface because of work, it's no problem. God knows everything. You can only just get home and say, oh, I'm so tired today. I came 5 o'clock at home. How tired I am. I'm not going to go to the service. Then you might lose a blessing. Right? So I came home. I'm dead. I'm dead tired. I'm not going to go to the service. And they don't go. Sometimes God allows it. And sometimes the person consult the Lord. Can I stay home? Press, uh, God. Let's see if I can stay home. God of mercy. I'm not feeling good. It, it, it fell on. <laughs> As it fell on biblical con concordance, a genealogy of Jesus. Okay, so we, I can stay. Sometimes a person does not come to the service and this is a blessing. Nobody has this problem here. In Brazil, we have this this problem. Not here. Let's pray, and then we pray for each person. Can we finish? Oh, so finish, 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 finish later. We don't pray with the apostolic blessing. So let us stand up. If it is the same thing, Lord, we praise your holy name. You glorify for a great blessing in this place. In your name is say the wonderful grace of the Lord Jesus, love of God, and sweet and tender consolation of the Spirit and be with you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Now we're going to pray. Did you sleep in the service? Did you sleep in service? Did you sleep? Who was sleeping? You look, <laughs> you have a face like you were sleeping. It's so hard for you to get married with this age and you still sleep during your service.